hello everyone and welcome back to flights in 2020 where i'm going to take a look at the route 10 model 202 boomerang by technotech this is a freeware plane available on flightsim.to i'll link it in the video description and it is a very unique plane it is one that i tried to model in blender for kerbal space program and getting the numbers is quite difficult now in this case the modder has uh, conceded that uh, it, it's not quite right it's basically uh, based on the DA62 right now for the flight model. And I do not blame Technotech for that because uh, having tried it in Kerbal Space Program, it's very hard to get the numbers quite right. There are numbers that work. It is a stable plane. Uh, you'll see why it might be difficult once you bring it out if you don't know already. It's an asymmetrical plane. Uh, so, yeah, it's uh, it would be a challenge to do the flight model right unless you had a great deal of data on it and it was for me in Kerbal Space Program as well. Uh, so yeah, uh, it's just this livery, but that is the only livery I've ever seen it in. So that's that's fine. Uh, we will just keep it to half fuel. Uh, the weight in the cabin is distributed like this right now. Uh, let me see if we can take off from Mojave somewhere where the skilled composite people are about. Well, I think that'll be fine. So we'll go with that and see what happens. Okay, so here is the cockpit. Again, freeware plane. And we've got one engine in front, one engine to the side. Nothing on this side as far as power plants are concerned. Um, it is uh, sort of interesting that this panel uh, gives RPM and MAFL pressure just one gauge, given that we have two engines. I'm not sure. About that, but anyway, uh, it's still a serviceable cockpit, so that's nice. And you know, virtual cockpits are important to me. But here is what it looks like on the outside, and again, you can see why this might be a problem as far as coming up with a flight model for it. Uh, I mean, the, the wings are asymmetrical, the airfoil is very uh, peculiar, um, especially since the center portion here. You know, right there actually is inclined a bit and a little bit twisted. Uh, it's just really, really difficult. And of course, the sim, as noted by the modder, uh, does not support twin bodies right now. I mean, it is a peculiar thing to need to deal with. But honestly, in real life, it probably doesn't fly weird because it was designed, uh, you know, very especially to be usable by normal people. <laughs> I mean, sorry, I'm a little bit wiggly because I'm out in the exterior view. Interesting there's no flap gauge in this uh, view. It's fairly fast. It should be an interesting plane to fly around. Uh, the view is nice, especially there's that little window down there. That makes it sort of neat. Fairly large views. Got that window back there. I mean, for freeware, it is excellent. Body exterior looks okay. I, I'm interested in the fact that we're seated on the right. I mean, considering this is an American plane, that's not as expected. There's also a seat here, but boy, uh, it doesn't look like that seat has legroom, <laughs> but also the panel sort of tilts like this, which is probably inconvenient for anybody sitting to the left. I'm not too sure about the airfoil here. I mean, probably the airfoil at the back should be thinner. Yeah, the landing gear was tough when I was trying to make it for Kerbal Space Program. Yeah, the landing gear is really weird, the placement of it. Because there is a tendency for the plane to sort of flop to one side. That's why the landing gear, the front landing gear is offset. If it was placed uh, centrally on the main body, then the plane would just flop. So many peculiar things about the plane. It's mostly peculiarities. I mean, it is a plane built out of peculiarities. The horizontal stabilizer extending only to one side. <laughs> I mean, 
It's so somewhat endless, really. Well, why don't I fly it into Los Angeles and see how it goes? So currently this plane is in version 0 0.90, so there are updates expected, I'm sure improvements will be made. Incidentally, the two engines aren't exactly the same. One is a 200 horsepower, the other is a 210 horsepower. So many things that are weird. But actually, according to Wiki, it's uh, built around the specifications of the Beechcraft Baron 58. I wonder if it was designed to fly relatively like that. You know, so that somebody could adapt easily from the Baron 58. In which case, maybe the flight model of the Baron 58 might be a little bit better. But I don't know. It's possible that's, that's not the case. And it's just trying to match the capacity of the Baron 58. Yeah, but yeah, there's only one of these. Enormous range. Uh, it's got a 2,000 nautical mile range, potentially. Cruise speed 220 knots at 15,500 feet. We're obviously not that high. But yeah, eventually I want to do an around the world in 80 planes again, combining planes in X Plane 11 and Microsoft Flight Sim. And this is definitely going to be one of them, I think. It's such a rarity. Well, we're getting bounced around a little bit over the mountains here. I still wonder about thermals in the game and whether flying gliders is worth it or not. I haven't checked up on that. Okay, well, I see the little grammetry of Los Angeles up ahead. Well, I think I'm just going to head for the airport rather than fly around LA too much. Looking good enough for now though. That's the view to our right. And there's the downtown area far to our left, but I'm not going to detour to take a closer look. I've flown in these neck of the woods recently anyway. Not too sure about this fuel load display down here, which seems to show an empty left tank and some in the right, and then a whole lot in the middle. Whereas uh, up here the fuel thing shows empty middle and then even right and left. Also the RPM here, which does respond to my propeller pitch. Um, doesn't match the one out here. Yep, don't know about that one either. This is gonna be an interesting side to land on. <laughs> I mean, I used to be on the right side actually. Here is down. Well, I guess I can just use the instrument instead of looking outside. GPS can show me the runway, even though I can't really see it very well inside the cockpit. Uh, okay. Okay, well, we are down. So it doesn't look like we have flaps on here at all. Worth noting. Whoa, that's much feistier than I was expecting. Oh, it turns like a champ here. I don't know what kind of gate this is, but it's fine. We'll just park it right here. So there you have it, the Rutan Boomerang, available from flightsim.to.
With that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.